On. So Rob, what are we going to be doing next? Okay, now the metallics are completely dry, we're uh, going to apply the uh, uni unifying wash. It's going to be a mix of black ink and blue ink. Right. So, um, a bruise. Yeah, it's um, the black ink's to knock the colours back a bit, and the blue gives it that blued steel, almost greasy kind of, kind of effect. Right. So, so slightly looked after, but not awesomely well lovely. Yeah, and we've got all the the, the, the brown and black in the, in, the, in the grooves as well, so that will it'll hopefully uh, intensify that. Mm -hmm. So we've changed the water as well, so we don't contaminate our paints. Yeah. So we're using fresh water, and all we're going to do is mix fairly equal amounts I would uh, I'd lean towards the blue on this I think it's quite interesting to me I've said it a few times but this is actually really inspiring me to look forward to doing some painting work I know it's going to be yeah. absolutely horrible but then you know I really do have the skill level of probably the lowest common denominator watcher of these videos so well, I mean, the, the good thing is, you don't, because this is the, the standard stuff, you don't need to understand the mixing and stuff like that, because the colours are all labelled and you, you just mix a lighter shade in, you know, a lighter green with a, with the a, with a mid-tone and a darker green for, for your shadows and, yeah. and stuff. It's well, I mean, watching it, as long as you know which colours you're supposed to be using and can read the lid, to me it's going to be very much like painting my numbers experience. Yeah, right? and that's, that's what you want, I mean... If, you, if you're doing a display piece, you can experiment with mixers and adding um, uh, blues to the shadows. Blues are in, around the eyes will, will make the eyes uh, seem uh, more deeply sunken. Um, instead of using the greens, you can use dark browns to give it a more natural, naturalistic look. Um, there's pl plenty you can do. It's, uh, you know, people who can uh, colour mix the 2D stuff. Um, should take to it very well, but myself, I can't do uh, 2D to save my life, so... No, no, that's probably just something that comes with practice, yeah. right? This is a very rich, dark blue. It's actually a bit too blue, but what the hell? There's no such thing as too blue. Blue <laughs> is one of the most fantastic colours ever. No, that is, that is too blue. Okay, so... I'm going to remove most of it and instead of adding black I'm going to add a bit of brown so we get our brown ink and add a dog of that I've been, I've been painting a lot of fantasy dwarfs and obviously their stuff isn't rusty and the, the blued steel effect looks really nice then, so I think it was a bit wasn't diluted enough as well. The inch have to really, really dilute them. So yeah, that's pretty dilute. And it's still, you get yeah. That's like one of those holistic tinctures. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise known as the placebo effect. <laughs> that's right. Delicious water. This will cure my syphilis. Are you sure you want to admit that? <laughs> okay, so hopefully this is uh, a bit more. Yeah, that's. So. We'll just do the ink wash. I'm going to try and not let it, to let it pull, but I am going a bit quick, so it probably will. It's just unfortunately one of those things that happens when you're doing a teaching kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, hopefully the, the people watching this will think, oh, I can do that, which is... Well, that's the whole idea, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And they'll do a better job. I'm looking forward to seeing people post. I am, yeah, I am too. And of course, people endlessly posting in, ha, lol, your video was Tess Suxor. Yeah. I can do better than that. And then posting in a really awful work. 
No, no, my look, it'll be someone like uh, Sebastian from uh, Australia or Tomaton. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can type properly though. Yeah, and he paints like. So he actually spell out the word sucks rather than <laughs> use S-U-X. Yeah. Well, this is this is to get you started. Well, it's, that's the whole point, yeah. It's hopefully going to uh, fire your imagination. Well, I think if we were kind of trying to teach people how to go do a golden demon winning piece, then this would be, you know, well, we'd still be at probably layering the undercoat nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, you've really got to... Or pro that. actually more likely, probably, it's still carefully filing and removing the mould lines. Yeah, as this was pre-assembled, there were some mould lines. Well, this is kind of a situation people are going to find themselves in quite frequently, of yeah. course, because this was assembled by my very keen 12-year-old son. Very well assembled. Yeah, it was actually. I was very, very pleased with the other thought. So, uh, he did uh, manage to make it a bit awkward for me, though. We call that a challenge. No, it's awkward. Oh, fine. You and you artist folk. And it's just because... It's quite funny, you know that stone effect paint I've been spraying? Yeah. Because I've got this stone effect paint that I use for making terrain. And uh, I was spraying it and I didn't realise my video camera's um, tripod. The tripod I'm using was behind it, so I've got a stone effect tripod. Swanky. Yeah, it's very, it's very swanky. I think it's added at least £1.25 to the retail value. It's like, uh, I, I, well, I don't know about that. I think it might have the same effect as stone cladding. <laughs> Good old stone clad. That's what, that's what 50 year old people install the field pot. Yeah. That and a pond. I actually have a stone clad bathroom. <laughs> yeah, we call that bare walls. Oh, right. Okay, so metal wise, I think that'll do. It's dulled it down nicely. You've got your bits of. Brown still showing through, which which you can tell, you know, that's that's just a quick rust effect. It's a bit more prominent on the gun and on the back. So we just leave that to dry and move on to finishing off the face. Uh, we'll do the teeth and the eyes. Fantastic. I'll look forward to watching that.